If you didn't know already, stools can now be picked up, moved and sat upon. But more than that, they count towards the emissary tier too. So this sparked an idea for me. How many stools does a pirate need to get to tier 5 emissary? Stay tuned to find out. Ahoy there, my name is Wizza and I create Sea of Thieves tips, guides and community videos to help you get the most out of your time on the seas. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers by the end of the year, so if you like what you see, hit that sub button. So, back to stalls. You can sell them to the merchant trader or at Reaper's Hider for a small amount, so pairing it with an emissary gets you that little bit extra and we opted for the merchant. As we spawned in at Sanctuary Outpost, we visited Sailor's Bounty first, where we found two stalls. From here, we ventured south to Crescent Isle and Memo's Hideaway to find two more stalls. After placing the one from Mermaid Hideaway on our boat, Tier 2 was acquired. It took four stools to be picked up and placed onto our sloop to get to Tier 2. Our next stop was Wanderers, where we found two more stools. Whilst also picking up some decent fruit along the way, we quickly realised the real challenge wasn't finding the stools, but leaving behind all the extra loot you'll find along the shoreline. It's just typical. Tier 2 took us to Wanderers, Snake Island, Crooks Hollow and Kraken's Fall, where we found two stools by the camp and the NPC. All in all, seven stools were needed to be picked up and brought onto our sloop to reach Tier 3. Tier 3 brought us our first sign of trouble. First a Kraken spawned on us, and then a Skeleton Sloop. Whilst we managed to get away with the use of an Anchor Ball, it was a rookie mistake that would cost us greatly in the endgame. We also crossed paths with a not so friendly brig, but a quick dash back and forth and we had lost them both. The game was back on. From here, we dabbled into the wilds, but quickly made the decision to avoid the murky grey waters in favour of the shores of plenty. It wasn't a difficult choice to make, let's be real. Once we ticked off K9 and Sunken Grove off, with two more stools on board, we repeated the circle of heading northwest again and beginning back at Sailor's Bounty and Lone Cove. Tier 3 was well underway. It was by this tier that we began to feel pretty smug that we hadn't had any trouble so far, or at least nothing significantly troubling. I mean, we were only a low-grade emissary after all. But tier 4 changed all that. As with most experiences on the seas, it was our last hour, last tier, last ditch attempt to reach tier 5 that everything began crumbling around us. Okay, I may be a little bit overdramatic there, but you catch my drift. We entered tier 4, coming away from Kraken's Fall and moving onwards to K9. Another trip to Shipwreck Bay was successful, providing two more stools as well. Lone Cove was our next stop, and then we saw it. The Jolly Roger flag at the top of a sloop's mast behind us. We were being followed. Paddy, my crewmate, attempted a few boarding moves, but they were quick to dodge our strategies. Eventually, he was successful and we created enough space to see our final circle through the shores of plenty. We had just one quarter of tier four to go. A few more islands, we would have made it. Luckily, they turned around and we were free for the home stretch. A few more stops landed us parked at Wanderers once more. Tier 4 brought us 11 stools, and we predict that the boost of the emissary tier that the skeleton sloop gave us would be equal to around 4 or 5 stools. The only thing left was to count them up and take a quick photo of our hard work. 31 stools and tier 5 emissary achieved. So now, if anybody asks if you're picking up stools is worth it, you can say that they get you to tier 5 emissary. Thank you for watching, my name is Wizza, leave a comment and a like and hit subscribe if you want more Sea of Thieves content. See you on the seas.